Alright, what's up? Trigger2295 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my new Light Snake USB interface. Alright, so pretty much I bought this at Guitar Center. It was 33 or 30, not 35.99 plus tax, I think it was. So it was around like 42.80 was a grand total. So, but as you can see, the box is empty right now. But it didn't come like this. I opened it, of course. Okay, but you guys don't really care about the box, so I'm gonna put this down real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys what it comes with. So first, we have, of course, the instruction manual, which you have to open it because at first it looks like just you know plain piece of paper. Open it, of course, gives you you know the user guide. And, troubleshooting, how to install it, and all that fun stuff, system and system requirements, you know, warranty info and such. So you get that, then you get this USB driver CD. Now this, what this is for is if you have, I want to say it's Windows 90, 98, or earlier, if this uh, if the interface doesn't actually install properly, you put this the uh, you put this CD in there and follow the just on-screen directions, and you're good to go. If it doesn't work, then then you have to you know find another computer or something. But I don't think anyone should be having Windows 98. Okay, and then finally they have comes with. The Sony demo DV of a recording software. Not sure what software it is. It is. Oh, there it is. It is Sony Acid Pro. No. Well, it's the recording software. It's a demo. The only downside is you can't export as an MP3. I don't think. I'm not sure. I haven't actually used this yet. I'm actually going to use it tonight because I want to see how. You know how good it is for a demo all right and then finally or not finally then you get this adapter it's a quarter inch female to a three-fifths male uh, yeah a little adapter here and then of course you get the interface so you have your guitar end which goes into your guitar or you know, effects pedal or amp. And you also have this neat little splitter here, which I like because in my in a case, you know, like mine, I can't play through my speakers here. And as you can see my desk is really messy. But I can't play through my speakers for some reason. So I have to from my distortion pedal, which is right here. I have that, and I have a Digitech RP355, but I'll use this one. Uh, so, yeah, what I do is I hook this into my distortion pedal. I hook another cable from here. Well, that's my friend's amp, my other guitarist. Uh, that's his amp. And I'll just hook it from this to that jack. So, I'll show you guys how to hook this up uh, right now. So, what you want to do... And for those of you who don't know how to hook one of these up, it's really, really simple. What you have to do is get your distortion pedal or guitar or whatever. You know, if you don't have a distortion pedal, then just go straight from your guitar, literally, to your computer. But if you have a distortion pedal, what you want to do, you take one cable, plug it into your guitar, run that to the input side of your pedal. Oop, there you go. Alright, now that's just the check light to show that's working properly whatnot. Okay, and then you take where you at? the quarter inch side of the interface, plug it into the output of the, the pedal. Like, there you go, like so. Then from here, it's kind of tangled up, but it doesn't matter. Okay, then from here, what you want to do is, like I said, I need an external speaker because I want to hear, you know, play by play, I guess you could say, of what I'm playing, you know. So what you do from here 
you take the cable that is plugged in to your amp, which right here, you plug it into this splitter. So, just plug it right into here. Now, it's a little hard to plug in at first, but you just kind of push it in. Once you hear it click, they are good. So then, from here, all you do, is take the USB side, put it right in your computer slot. Alright, put it in. Now for me, it's probably going to say it's not recognized for some reason, because it's been doing that when I'm on the internet. But for once, it didn't do it. Okay. So then it'll say installing, or whatever, modifying your driver, or whatever to, you know, fit it. And then, uh, now that we got that, just turn on your amp, and, oh, there you go, turn, there you go, so that's that. So now that you have that, I'm going to show you guys next how to set it up on a recording software, Audacity and Cubase. So, alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, what's up, I'm back. So, now what I'm going to do, the interface is plugged in. So, what I'm going to do now is show you guys how to set it up on Cubase LE5 and Audacity. So, we'll start out with Cubase, just because this one's a little more difficult. This one's way, well, not really difficult, but it's more difficult than... Audacity. Audacity is really simple. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of putting up this tutorial mainly because I have not seen any tutorials on it. And I, I saw one that just kind of just showed like the audio quality, but it didn't show how to hook it up. And I read a comment on there uh, that said that it, you didn't show how to hook it up. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to or something like that. Which is why I'm showing you how to hook it up right now. Alright, so what are you gonna do? Your project. I'll just go with empty. And then I save it in Cubase Projects Audio. So okay. Alright, from here, as you uh, you can see right here in the bottom right, you have like the sound level. And you can see that's picking up through the mic. It's not actually picking up through the guitar. Like, watch. Uh, I'll play. Uh, I'll play the guitar real quick, and I'll show you that it's not picking it up. So, here I'll put the mic next to the amp. Now it's away from there, and you can see that when I'm talking, it picks me up, not the guitar. And that doesn't really help unless you're trying to mic the amp, then it's perfect. But I'm not trying to, I'm trying to hook it directly up to the uh, computer. So what you want to do is go to devices, go to device setup, and what you want to do is select the driver that when you select it, you should be able to see all of this. Well, a lot of it, some of this you might not because you don't. You might not have the same speakers or same microphone but what you want to, what you want to be able to do is see this the USB device that is the interface so as you, that's why I selected the ASIO DirectX full duplex driver so what you want to do if you want you press ok right now or cancel but you know if it wasn't selected before then hit ok but if it was already selected then just hit cancel or ok it doesn't matter Okay, now go to devices, VST connections, and now uh, go to inputs. Alright, you can see the real tech, the microphone real tech high definition, okay? That's the one that I'm using right now. Now, we don't want that one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna left click, go down to microphone, USB audio device one. Do the same thing for the right, right left click. There you go. Now you can see that it's no longer picking up my voice. There's no sound waves or, you know, whatever levels coming from the mic. Now, 
when I turn on the, the guitar, I turn it up, all right, strum. So there it is. So now what you want to do is just exit out of there. And then from here, literally, it's just add a track, audio track. Just go with one. It doesn't matter. You can go to two, three, four, however many. It doesn't matter, really. But press OK. And then the pre-count click. When you press record, you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you go. So we'll just do that real quick. I'll just start strumming right now. Alright. Alright, and just hit stop right there. And then there we go. That's the Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to hook it up for Audacity. Audacity is really simple. Like, if you don't know anything about that, you just wanna hook it up and just start playing, whatever. You know, Audacity. If Cubase, literally, the only downside I forgot to mention with Cubase is you have to do that every time you start up. You have to go to the device and BSD connection and select that for the input. But it's you get used to it after a while. But now with Audacity, it's really simple. With Audacity, all you have to do is go to the microphone right here, left click, and it'll give you a little list of a little list of available microphones. Just click the USB device, and there you go. You're set. So now you just record. Alright, and then you press stop. And then from here, just press play. And then there you go. I mean, you can see that the audio for either one is really good. You know? I mean, Cubase is a little better, but it's a better software too. It's, you know. But. That's literally it. So I hope this tutorial helped and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials because I'm going to be putting up a lot of tutorials now. So if you guys like this, seriously don't feel the, don't feel scared or whatever to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah, later.